see what the price of copper is today, Brother Joseph? Hmm? I'm telling you, it's a license to print money. I'm gonna be rich. I've told you before, I know how to do this. Just be careful. And we've got them at school, and anyway, I brought the fire extinguisher. I know how they work. Now, I've just got to twist this. Uh, okay, I think it's coming. Someone light a match. Hey, okay. I don't want my place burning down. I know it's cold, but it's not that cold. No. Oh, yeah, get back! Oh, I'm sorry. Well, so am I, that I ever need to play with that thing. No, it's okay, except for adjusting the flame. What are you doing? It's too yellow. There's too much air. All I've got to do is turn this. There, the flame is bluer. You see, there's less air. And when it's bluer, it's hottest. Jay, are you all right? Uh -huh. Okay, now. Where's that kettle? Mm. I must say, it would be nice having my own gas stove. Thanks, Frankie. What are you going to make? Tea? Tea? Eh, eh. I forgot to buy the tea. Oh, come oh. on. Let's get a bag or two from Mama Bold. Turn that off when I frank. Yeah. Oh, there you are, Spider. Look what I've got for you. What is it? Oh, cauliflower, Rena. It's a nice one. How do I cook it, Mama? Easy, baby. 20 minutes in boiling water and a bit of salt. It's fresh and tasty. It will just melt in your mouth. Here. Try one, Joy. You don't rather have a banana, Mama Bones? Why? Not that I have anything against cauliflower. It's just that it's... it's... not bananas. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the cauliflower, Mama. I'll cook it on my new gas stove tonight. Bye. Bye, uh, Mama Bones. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Gas stove. Look, it's Mr. Gripper. Let's turn back. It's not his pavement. We just go past him. Jay's right, Spider. You know what Mr. Griffith's like? He thinks he owns the road and the pavement. Yeah. He doesn't frighten me. Well, I don't know, Mr. Agrippa. I promised myself I wouldn't steal anything ever again. Steal? <coughs> Who said anything about stealing? We're taking what's rightfully ours. I mean, where does the copper come from? Hmm? From the ground. And whose ground is it, eh? God's own ground, that's whose. We're taking what's rightfully ours, Joseph. I don't know, Mr. Agrippa. Winter is a terrible season to spend in jail. I know. I spend a few winters in jail. It's cold in there, Mr. Agrippa. Very cold. Your shoes get so cold that the leather doesn't bend to let your feet in in the morning. Oh, what nonsense you talk, Brother Joseph. Mm. Nobody said anything about prison. Listen to me, Brother Joe. How long have we been friends, my old pal? Eh? I mean, how many schemes have I included you in? Eh? I don't think you've included me in any. Be honest with me, Brother Joe. Where would you be without me, huh? Shall I tell you? Hmm? There, my friend. There, in the gutter. That's where. And all I ask in return is that you go along to the railway sheds tonight and take a bit of copper off the steam locomotives. Is that too much to ask? Hmm? It's such a pity, Mr. Agrippa. Those old trains are so beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. You forget, Brother Joseph, there's something much more beautiful than a steam locomotive, and that's a wallet full of money. So, four o'clock tomorrow morning, yes? With our tools and our torches, yes? Oh, my dear, dear children, what a pleasure it is to see you today. And what have you been doing, hmm? Listening in on your uncle, Agrippa? Hmm? Sticking your noses in where they have no business to be stuck? We're not listening, Mr. Agrippa. We just want to go past. Well, the pavement doesn't belong to me. Move along, then. Off you go. Come on. You don't think they heard us hatching our plans, do you? Maybe they'll tell the police. No, not a chance. Even if they had heard, they'd never be able to guess what I was saying. I mean, they're only children after all. And like all children, not very bright. <laughs> Well, I think it's disgusting. But well, Joe is right. Those old steam trains are beautiful. And Mr. Agrippa is going to ruin them, pulling off all the copper. We've got to do something about it. Yeah, where are these trains? Oh, not far from here. Uh, behind the old abattoir. Let's go and have a look and see what we can do. Come here. No, come, let's yes, go. come, let's go. Thank you. 
Saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Something in the big shed, I think. Come on. Hmm. Just think. He wants to take all the gleaming tubing away. That's not stealing. It's far worse than stealing. Hey, look at these wheels. Wow, it must take a lot of electricity to make them turn round. It's not an electric train, Dre. It's a steam train. Steam? How does a steam train work? I don't know. There's a fire involved in it somewhere. Mm. And lots of copper tubing to carry all the steam around. We've got to tell someone about Mr. Agrippa's plan. They went in here, I think. Oh, come on, quickly. Come, come. <laughs> Why don't we tell them what Mr. Agrippa's up to? Shh! Look! Look! <gasps> Little brat, probably trying to pin some copper off the old ladies. Old ladies? He means the trains. But we're not gonna... Hey, what was that? Shh! Uh, probably just somebody yelling outside, I think. Kids, I'm telling you, they are the worst thieves of them all. <laughs> Remember that brat we caught last month with that coil of cable? Oh, he wasn't so happy <laughs> after the magistrate sentenced him to two weeks hard labor, mm. polishing up the locals. <laughs> They'll be firing that old lady up tonight for a trip with a train club to the countryside tomorrow. I wouldn't mind being on that trip myself. Come on, let's get out of here. Mm. We'd better close this place up. Why wouldn't you let me tell them about Mr. Agrippa? Because you heard what they think of kids. Yeah, they think all kids are thieves. Oh. Imagine them thinking that we're going to steal the copper when it's us who are trying to save the trains from Mr. Agrippa. It's not fair. The police probably wouldn't believe us either if we went to them with our story. We're going to have to do something ourselves. Oh. Like what? Well, for a start, like getting out of here. Come on, they've gone. We'd better go home and think up a plan. Hey, someone's lost a scarf. Look, it's got a name on it. Let's have another look at the shed. We could lay a trap for them. What kind of trap? Maybe a net. We could tie it to the roof, and when Mr. Agrippa and Bajo came in, we drop it over them. Uh -uh. It would never work. Mm -mm. We couldn't get it up there. Mm. And anyway, we don't have a net. Mm, I suppose you are right. Oh. How long did Mama Bone say this has to cook for? 20 minutes. Seems a long time. Can't you turn up the heat? It will get done faster. No, it won't. It's already boiling. Yes, it will. No, it won't. The heat from the flame goes into the water. The more heat you put into it, the hotter the water gets. It's common sense, that's all. Didn't I see a big thermometer around here the other day? What? Are you feeling sick? You want to take your temperature? No. I want to take the temperature of the water your cauliflower is boiling in. Then we'll see who's right. I think we've got a thermometer at our house. Okay. You and Frankie go fetch it. Jay and I will look after the cauliflower. Yeah. Ah, that's my man. <laughs> Just the thing. 
Let's review our plans for our little business venture. And those the two cuts from the rail yards. Look, they've got giant scar. Oh, when? Quick. Hello, Have you seen this cup before? It belongs to someone called Jay. Jay? Of course. My boss, my boss. Don't interrupt, children. I'm talking to this gentleman. Now, what was I saying? Oh. I, I, I don't know any Jay. Thanks, Sissy. Thanks, Mum. You kids have a lot of explaining to do. But first, Ayanda, get off my foot! Oh, sorry. <laughs> If you're right, Ayanda, then the longer we boil it, the hotter the water should get. Exactly. Okay, have a look at the temperature now. Hmm? No, we wait for a few minutes. Spider, where's Jay? I think he's talking to the feds. I'll go look for him. Don't tell him about the guards, eh? You had a question for me. I'm answering his question. Perhaps you can answer my question. Yes. yes. Perhaps we can. When water reaches boiling temperature and you go on heating it, why does the temperature not go on rising? How simple, simple. Why don't you ask us a difficult one? The temperature doesn't rise any further because... The extra energy is being used to turn the water into a gas called hot water vapor. Just what I was about to say. You took the words out, out of her mouth. Very well put. <laughs> that answer your question? Yes, it does. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, very kind of you. You're a polite sort of boy, wouldn't you say? He's much more polite than he needs to be. Got to go, got to go. <laughs> How is it doing? Not bad. Hey, guys, guess what? The fact have just told us about water vapor. Oh. Ayanda, we have something to tell you. <laughs> Not now, Jay. Frankie, look at the thermometer. You see who's right. Okay. Careful! Don't burn yourself. Here, use this. I got it. Now I'll show you. It is the same. Mm -hmm. It hasn't gone up at all. The facts mm -hmm. explained it to me. You see, when you heat water, it gets hotter and hotter. But when it starts boiling, it can't get any hotter. And it starts turning into steam. Water vapor. Uh, Jay's right. Boiling water turns into a gas called water vapor. The faster you boil the water, the more water vapor you make. You won't make the water any hotter. What if we dug a hole and put an old piece of canvas over it? Then, when Mr. Agrippa and Brajo walked over it, they'd fall in. Hey, she's talking about saving the steam train. We've got to find a way before tonight. Otherwise, they'll be ruined forever. Hey, I think I've got an idea. Pet, if we just turned the lights on in the shed, they'll think that someone was there and keep away. Spider, I think I know what we should do. What? Well, I don't know. It means we'll have to get up really early tomorrow. Come on, Jay. Tell us your idea. Well, if we went along to the shed... Far enough. Push the brake, Ayanna. What's the brake? It's all right. It's the lever over there, I, I think. We've done it! What's next, Jay? Well, now we've got to wait. That's all. Come on, 
Mr. Agrippa, we are ready for you. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Okay, Brother Joseph, come on. Look, there it is. This Brother Joseph is going to be like taking candy floss from Kitty Winkles. No problem at all. My bones are aching, Mr. Agrippa. Hmm? They always ache just before police catch me and send me back to jail. Yeah, trust police? No, 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 no. Trust me, Brother Joseph. Nothing can possibly go wrong with our little scheme. Now, follow me. Look, there they are. Red, what do we do, Jay? Pull the regulator valve. Yes, that's it, that's it. Yes. Ah, okay. Look at this, Brother Joe. She's beautiful, isn't she, Mr. Agrippa? Even better. She's profitable. <laughs> now, get out the pliers and the hacksaw. You've got work to do. That's it. Let's start with this one over here. <laughs> this is going to earn us a pretty penny or two. <laughs> Frankie, he's starting to cut the cup with jobs. <gasps> Don't worry, we'll stop him. Something's wrong, Mr. Agrippa. Nonsense, cut the copper pipe, Brother Joseph. Seriously, Mr. Agrippa. It's just your imagination. Mr. Agrippa, look! Good grief! Come on, Brother Joseph, run! It worked! It worked! <laughs> the brakes, Spider, the brakes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quickly, quickly. We must go before the guns cut here. Okay, okay. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I think we've lost them, Brother Joe. Do you think so, Mr. Agrippa? Run, Brother Joe! Run! <laughs> oh, I'm running, Mr. Agrippa! I'm running! <laughs> oh, stop! Steve! <laughs> they heard the whistle! They heard the whistle! Listen, listen, I think they've caught them! Listen! Boy, we really got them that time, didn't we? No, <laughs> my shot! Get the home! <laughs> So, the steam comes washing out of the, the... Um, boiler. Boiler. Okay. So, the steam... The water vapor. The water vapor shoots out of the boiler into the... Cylinders. Cylinders. And the pressure of the water vapor forces the pistons to move backwards and forwards. And they are connected to the wheels by connecting rods. And these force the wheels to turn round and round. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh. Ah. So, instead of pushing up a lid like this, the steam goes through a cylinder and pushes the pistons out. See? Mm -hmm. uh, this is how the old steam engine works. Look, you start by making a fire in the firebox, and that heats the water in the boiler just like this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, then the water boils and starts turning to water vapor. The water vapor needs more space, so it pushes through here. And the regulator draws off the steam and sends it down some pipes to the pistons. And then the pistons... Hello, move... children. Hello, Mama Bones. Have you seen Brajo around? He's no. with Mr. Agrippa. Oh, dear. Up to no good as usual, I suppose. Not this time, Mama Bones. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to hear. What are they doing? Polishing up an old lady. <laughs> an old lady? <laughs> the magistrate said 72 hours community service. That's what he said. I don't know what you children are talking about. Community service? Mm. A magistrate? <laughs> mm. Polishing an old lady? <laughs> the police cut them stealing copper mama bones from the railway shed. So as punishment, mm. the magistrate said they would have to spend two weeks polishing up the old steam trains in the railway shed. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. Pass the polish, Brother Joseph. I don't mind polishing, Mr. Agrippa, but I wish they'd stop calling me Jay. No. Hey, hey, spider, join 
Christmas on the glider. It's a big simulacro and it's got a lot to say. Hey, hey, Strider, join us on the glider. It's a big simulacro and it's got a lot to say. As it moves up the line, pumping and pumping, it's got a lot to say. Engineering, team active, power steering. Stop the fire, send it higher, fill the wheels, tank in it. Spider, what are you doing? Welcome to Spider's comic and video shop. Hey, this is all about us. It's all about Spider's play. Here's me. There's a comic, a video, and an audio cassette for each of our adventures. And we buy them from you? Sure. Or write to Hanspring Trust at 1 Magnet Street, Kensington, Johannesburg, 2094. Hmm? Mm-hmm.